Welcome, everyone, to Chestnut Hill, home of the Boston College Eagles, where fans are quickly filling up Alumni Stadium in anticipation of a terrific clash we have ahead. We're really looking forward to this matchup. You've got a team that's made its way into the top 25, now trying to pass an all-important road test. As we'll see the number 19 team in the country, the Pittsburgh Panthers, taking on a fellow ACC opponent, the Boston College Eagles. For EA Sports College Football, I'm Reese Davis, joined here in the booth by David Pollock and Jesse Palmer. And guys, let's get this thing started. Hit lined up, ready for the opening kickoff as we get things underway. Fielded in the end zone, it's McGowan. Stopped at the 17, and he's probably second-guessing that return. So Boston College's offense will get the first crack at it here. And here's the man they rally around, and he has earned that type of respect, David. You dang right. You earn it by doing it, and he's done it at such a high level. Everyone believes in this young man, and Palmer, there's a reason why. You're right, David. He's been in the big moments, and he's won the big games. This guy delivers when the game is on the line. Man, nowhere to run on that play at all. About all you can say is do better, but that's the problem. Are they able to do better? And that's why you keep trying things, right? Keep trying to get on the perimeter, run it up the middle, try different things to see what you do well. Looking to throw, it's Castellanos. He's right on target. And he was able to get away from one tackle, but plenty of help was on the way. Decent pickup on that play. It's early in the game, and as offenses try to get their rhythm, these easy completions are very important because that's what helps you get your feet underneath you as an offense and as a unit. And hopefully, as this game goes on, they'll be able to rev up and get more aggressive taking shots. Shotgun snap on third down. Fires left. Oh, they really could have used that catch. Their physical pass defense, it brings up a fourth down. Well, they try to throw for it there on third down on the opening drive of the game. They don't get it, but let's punt the ball away. Let's trust our defense. And, guys, let's also trust this home field advantage and the crowd to get loud and make it real difficult on our opponent. He only needs a sliver of daylight. Coverage team gets the job done, and they'll mark him down at the 38-yard line. The Panthers' offense will take the field for the first time. As we take a look at our impact players for this one, what are you looking for, Jesse, for a guy to make an impact? Well, these are simply put the leaders of this football team, and generally games go how these guys play. If they make plays, then they've got a shot to win this one. No doubt. they got to show up. These are the team leaders. These guys have to play well if they're going to win the football game. You know, runs like this oftentimes are like a boxer in a boxing match. Obviously, it's not a knockout punch, but these are body blows. And as the game goes on, these small gains are going to turn into longer runs. After picking up a couple, it's second and eight. He'll do it himself. And he's brought down after a nice game. There's an example of the offense taking advantage of all the attention the defense is giving this outstanding running back. Remember, he's one of the best in the game. They're expecting him to get the football. So the quarterback says, you know what? I'll just keep it. No one's keying on me. I'm going to get upfield and find an explosive play. They've got it first and 10 at the 50. Caught in the backfield, it's Johnson. And a good job of coverage by that defense. Just a short pickup. Nice completion here to this wide receiver. And you're going to see this receiver line up in different spots all over the field all game long. Defense has got to keep their eye on where this guy is because they know he's a big part of this offense's success. Went to the running game on first down. Now second down. Looking for room. It's Reed. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. Man, what a spectacular play by that defensive end to come up with the tackle there. And you see those guys get off the football so fast. Most of these guys are 250 to 275 pounds, but they get off the ball fast, low. And the offensive linemen, they have no chance to stop those guys as quick and as fast as they are. Forced out of the pocket. At the 35, he's got room. Nifty little scamper on this one. Enough for the first down, and he slides in safely. 
Nice job. Nice way to end that play for the QB. He does a really good job scrambling, getting the first down, and getting down. Because defensively, I'm trying to get a lick. Anytime I can hit the quarterback, that is a win. The gift to the back. Finds a crease at the 20. They finally make the stop, but the big run is plenty to move those sticks for the first down. Man down on the play as the officials take a break to let him be checked out. Pittsburgh going to work with a fresh set of downs. From the red zone, looking for a man. Grabbed over the middle. It's Mumpfield. They get him stopped at the five-yard line, but it will be first and goal from there. Last couple of plays, the offense seems to be just one step ahead, David. Yeah, and I'm going to have to do something to disrupt the timing, the rhythm. i got to do something that they're not expecting because right now they got the run and they got the pass working. So this defense, they have to find something new. Touchdown, Panthers. And they made it to the house where they found that six points waiting on them. And what a nice start for this offense. The throw game getting working, getting the touchdown pass. This quarterback getting a little bit of confidence. This passing game getting in a rhythm. Nice start for this offense. They'll try to add another to their lead. And the PAT makes it 7-0. That drive covered 62 yards for the touchdown. And the score comes on a five-yard touchdown pass. The kickoff team takes the field to boot this one away. He'll start the return inside his five. Nice job by the kickoff team. Everybody stayed in their lanes, and they'll stop him at the 16. Boston College sending the offense back onto the field. With the catch, it's Bond. Really confident throw and catch there. Big pickup, and they have a first down. You got to give the O-line a lot of credit there because it gave the receiver time to work all the way across the field on the drag route against zone coverage. Quarterback gets it to him. He's able to turn it up and get a first down. Boston College right back to the line. Wants to pass it. Good job running tough and behind his pads as he gets up to the 38-yard line. You want to talk about making it easy for an offensive coordinator. You pick up a bunch of yards on first down, make that second down really, really manageable. That's a great job by the offense. Got eight on first down, now looking at a second and two. Out of the gun, the inside handoff, looking for a crease. And it's a first down. They'll mark it at the 44. Well, the defense knew coming into this one it was going to be a physical game. Guys are going to have to be great at the point of attack and get off blocks and make tackles. They couldn't stop the offense from picking up that first down on that run play. Now they'll line it up from the 44 on first and 10. He wants to throw. Fires to the right. Just too much juice on that one as he airmails his receiver out of bounds. You know, it's a good decision by the QB because his intended target wasn't open, so throw it out of bounds, and you can live to play another day here on this drop. Now on second down. Wants to throw. It's Castellanos. Gets open down the middle. And that's a good job by the drag route there, understanding its zone coverage. So instead of continuing to run across the field, he settles down into an open spot, making it easy for his quarterback. They'll snap it from the 48 on third and short. They'll try to power their way ahead. That'll get the job done and move the chains, and they'll mark the ball at the 45. 
And I just love when guys know exactly where the sticks are. You could tell, ran with purpose, finished through the sticks, and got just enough for the first down. And a nice job up front, too, right? Good communication. Everybody knew where they had to go. Hat on a hat, work the double teams, and get some push. They're going to go right back to him on first down. Well, man, there's some big hitting going on in the trenches right now. This defense, they take a lot of pride in stopping the run. Let's keep our eye on them throughout the course of the game and see if they can contain this running attack. Picked up two yards on that last one. They need eight on second down. He's looking to throw. A little screen to the running back. Didn't have much room to run and not a whole lot of help. Short game there and still plenty of ground to cover for the first down. Yeah, and you're going to see this offense find different ways to get this running back involved. It's not just going to be on handoffs, and they're certainly going to line him up in different places and even throw him the football. But the screen game's a big part of it, too. They're trying to get him going there. From the gun, wants to pass. Now adjusting. And he scoops his way to the first down and then slides to avoid the hit. It's just so hard defensively to take your eye off this guy, especially on third down. You've got to know that at any given moment, he can take off on you. They've got to do a better job on the back end, keeping their focus on him. He's the one with the football, and they've got to be able to react, or else they're going to get gashed like they did right there. Coming out on first down with the play fake. Got it in the middle. It's Bond. They're able to keep him out of the end zone. He'll be stopped at the two after the big play in the passing game. And the quarterback knew exactly where he wanted to go with the football. Had time. Spins the ball deep. Nice job by this offense. Understanding what the defense has given them and creating the explosive play. And the Golden Eagles have it with a first and goal. Scanning the field. It's Castellanos. Feeling some heat. And that defense gets to him, and down he goes at the nine. When I get inside the three on first and goal, I want to be aggressive with the run. I want to be a physical. I want to be the more dominant team. You might know it's coming, but I'm still going to bring it. They tried to go with the changeup. They tried to throw the football very unsuccessfully. Nice job by the defense being ready for everything, even though they're inside the three-yard line. He's looking for a man on second down. Pulls it in on the end zone. Touchdown, Boston College. I don't know exactly what the defensive coverage was, but it certainly wasn't part of the plan to leave him that wide open. Well, I don't, I don't think they know what their defensive coverage was either. How do you leave that big guy open down in the red zone? You know the quarterback loves the big tight ends in this area. Really poor job by the defense. They'll try to tack one more on their score. Hit that one with some aggression for the point after. They put it in the end zone with a 12-play scoring drive. And they cap things off with a 9-yard touchdown pass. After that latest answer, tied things up, just about set to kick it away again. And he takes this from inside the 5. He was looking for some running room, but not much to be found as he stopped at the 18. The pit offense back on the field and ready to roll. The give from the gun. Get some work done there. Pick up a four to the 22. You know, it's so important for offenses to want to keep third downs manageable. The way you do that is by having success like that, running the football on first down. Solid pickup of four on first down at second and six. Looking for a man. It's Holstein. He finds his man. And a good job in coverage there as they stop it after just a few. Now, and a great job by the defense seeing it right away, reacting to the screen, going and getting the football, and getting the fast playmaker on the ground. Picked up some yards on the last completion, but it's third down. From the gun, wants to pass. And the pressure was too much. They get him at the 15. 
That is a gut punch if you're the offense because they're in dime personnel. They're only rushing four guys. You've got five offensive linemen. You've got the option of bringing other people in to help give your QB time. And this offense, not good enough. Pitt will line up to punt it away. This will be their first punt of the afternoon. And they'll bring him down to get the offense started on the next drive. BC has the ball back, hoping for a party in the mods. This could be a real turning point in the game. They scored a touchdown. They got a stop. And now a chance to break the tie. Yeah, this offense has got it cooking, man. And how about the defense? Great job getting that stop, getting the football right back to the hot hand. Now this offense, Palmer, has a chance to take the lead. You can see the offense, too. They understand the situation right now. They were jonesing on the sidelines to get another opportunity to run back on the field. They are ready to drive this ball and go score. They run the reverse. One step wrap, two step squeeze. This junior knows how to get him on the ground. Boston College wants to play fast. Trying to move the sticks on third down through the air. Finds his man. It's Bradley. And they stop him just short of the stick. It'll bring up a decision on fourth down. I love playing man-to-man -man defense, and I love getting up in your kitchen and jamming you at the line of scrimmage, but it's really hard when they start running these crossing routes and drags and ends because now I'm in chase mode, and the QB has a little bit of space a lot of times, and those fast guys can create some separation and get a first down like they did there. Maybe one notch of adrenaline too much on the punt there. It hits about a yard deep in the end zone. It'll come out to the 20. They'll throw it on first down. It's complete to the right. Just what they were looking for to get this drive rolling there out to the 35. And there was no question in that scenario. That's where the quarterback was going. He knew he had his receiver in a matchup that he liked running a route where he would find himself open. Nice job between those two. So much for the tough field position. One play, and you're already to the 35. Pretty good effort on that one to work his way up to the 42. Well, it's plays like that that'll help this offense stay in rhythm all game long. If you can have that kind of success on first down running the football, it just opens up your entire playbook moving forward. They can really be aggressive after that last play. It's second and three. To the air, it's Holstein trying to get to it. Almost intercepted. It'll fall incomplete. The defense almost came up with a turnover. Great coverage, great break on the ball. Had a chance to really make a big play and maybe even take that thing back to the house. But you got to secure the catch. We like to hit people more than we like to catch balls. Ball is at the 42-yard line, close to four-down territory. Here's third and short. And that's incomplete. A defender all over him. Knocked the ball to the ground. Fourth down coming up. And I like the aggressiveness on third and short. Trying to throw the football. Take advantage of a look that they got. They weren't successful, and now it's fourth and short territory. Who knows what they're going to do? Pitt will have to boot this one away. Second time today, they've been forced to punt. Couldn't get away from that cover team, and they've got him down at the 23. BC has it back, and the Eagle offense returns to the field. They'll start this drive with a pass. Grab behind the line. It's Harris. And they finally haul him down, but not before the good catch and run. Big play in the passing game there, and I like the receiver gearing down in the zone. Did a nice job finding the soft spot on defense between the defenders, giving the quarterback an easy target to throw to to complete that throw. The Golden Eagles are in the hurry up. Grabbed in the backfield. It's Bond. 
And a pickup of eight opens a world of opportunities on second and two. Well, we see another catch by this guy. This defense is going to need to do a better job of tackling the catch. In coverage, I know they want to slap the ball away, but if you can't do it and force the incompletion, you've got to at least make sure you're able to drag him down to the ground as soon as he catches the ball. Give to the back. They'll get the first down. It's spotted on the 49. All right, well, look, I know the defense was feeling real good about their run D coming into this one and how they've been playing up to this point, but finally, David, the offense breaks through and they finally generate something positive on the ground. And I can't tell you how easy it is. When you're going to throw the ball consistently, and I know it, I'm going to pin my ears back and I'm going to get to the quarterback. It makes life really easy on the defensive line. But when you can have balance, now the defense doesn't know what's coming. They need more of this if they're going to be successful on offense. They keep feeding him in this running game, and the defense is having none of it. It's been that way all day. Got stuffed on first down. It's second and ten. to throw. It's Castellanos. He looks that one in nicely. Excellent job working through the air there, finding a hole in that defense and picking up a first down. How about these two running games so far? Dominance on the ground as we look at the first quarter stats. They fought to a standstill in the first. Let's see who gets the edge early in the second. Boston College coming to the line after moving the chains. They'll throw it on first down. Quick completion on the out route. Finally run out of bounds, but he has his offense rolling with a first down. That looks like a real simple play by the wide receiver, but give him a ton of credit. That was an excellent route. He never telegraphed that he was breaking to the outside. Kept his eyes downfield, so when he cuts, he's able to get maximum separation from the defender, and that's why that play is successful. Trying to find his man on first down. Caught in the backfield, it's Morales. And just a short, safe pass play. They pick up a few. Well, I know the tight end did some good things after the catch, but got to give the quarterback credit, too, for the location of the throw. Because he put it out in front of his big man, he was able to make the catch and accelerate, creating some distance there between him and the defense. It's now second down after the short completion. Got it behind the line. It's Bradley. Got some room in it to the goal line. Touchdown, Boston College! What a catch and run for six. One of the reasons this offense is so exciting to watch, they've got guys that are dangerous after the catch. And if this quarterback gets through his progression, David, he hits you in stride, these guys will take it to the house. Man, it's your job to do the rest, right? You hit me in stride where I don't have to stop running, I don't have to break down. It makes it so easy, the connection between quarterback and wide receiver. You can tell this is a good one, and that's why they got six on that play. On to attempt to try. And the PAT gives him a 14-7 lead. They march 78 yards down the field, and the scoring play comes on a touchdown pass from 22 yards out. The kickoff team out there and ready to go. On the run from inside his own five. Didn't find any crease in that kickoff coverage, and he'll be stopped at the 17. The Pittsburgh offense is back on the field. David, the putter got some work last time. They'd like to keep him on the sidelines in this drive. Yeah, and it's not something you want to say very often. You don't want the punter like that. This offense needs to get back lathered up and get a little bit more of a win. Best way to do that, identify where your best players are and just get them the football. Give these guys some touches to kickstart this offense. They'll line up for a second down play. After the incompletion, back to the passing game. Buys a little extra time. Short gain on the play before he slides. Well, great job there by the defense because they weren't able to get him sacked right away, but you saw the coverage in the back end. Nowhere for the quarterback to throw the football. 
didn't get the sack, obviously. You don't get the negative play, but you also don't give up a big one. You're feeling pretty good about where you are right now in this drive. Here on third down. Back to throw. It's Holstein. He's got the tight end. He's out of bounds, but not before picking up enough for the first down. They pick up the first down on the drag route. I know that seems like a simple route, but it's actually a lot more complex than what it looks like because that route changes based on whether it's man or zone. If it's man coverage, he's flying across the field. If it's zone, he's got to sit down over the ball in a soft spot, giving his quarterback a place to go with it. Nice job of those guys being on the same page there. And he'll chuck that one away and save the down. Nobody was able to get open. And here comes the offense on second down. He's looking to throw. And that's going to fall to the ground incomplete. That was a physical matchup there. Third down coming. They line up, and it is a long way to the sticks from here. They're trying to slow that rush down with the draw. And sure, tackling there to keep him from getting to the first down marker. Pitt will line up to punt it away. Bringing it back, it's McGowan. And he'll work his way on the return out to the 35-yard line before he stopped. Boston College sending the offense back onto the field. They'll go to the ground. A confident, tough, efficient run gets it up to the 44. Well, I know it's sexy to throw the football, but if you can pound it away and get these kind of gains, they will just add up, wear the defense down, get first downs, and ultimately get some points. Boston College right back to the line. Caught behind the line. It's Bradley. And that defense doesn't allow a cutback, and they get him out of bounds after a short game. It's hard to have success on wide receiver screens when you're facing press man coverage because your blockers out front oftentimes can't pick him up and that receiver gets gobbled up as soon as he catches the pass. You saw it on that last play. This defense will try to force a fourth down on third and short from the 45. They knock him down, but they'll mark it beyond the line to gain, and it's a first down for Boston College. Third and inches, everybody knows what's coming, but it's so dang hard to stop, and you better get penetration with that defensive line. They didn't do a good enough job. Running back falls forward and does his job. BC back to work after picking up the first down. Looking to move it through the air. Catch in the middle, it's Harris. And they pick up just a few on that completion. What we knew coming into this game, this offense was going to try and get this receiver involved and get him involved early. So here they are just finding an easy completion. It's not a touchdown, but they just want to get this guy lathered up and get him into a rhythm. A lot of urgency for this offense. Caught in the backfield, it's Bradley. He's brought down, but he went backwards after that completion, not the way they had it drawn up. I mean, getting suffocated right away. How about the DB? Just seeing that initially, pulling the trigger, getting to him, get him on the ground, get the tackle for a loss. If they can convert here, that type of play can really give you a shot of momentum. On third down, going up top. Oh, they really could have used that catch. Their physical pass defense, it brings up a fourth down. This is a point where you just got to be able to focus. And the critical down and distances in this game, like that third down right there, when it's a good throw, you got to make the catch. You got to be able to make that play. Boston College will send out the punt team. A fairly short distance here toward the sidelines, not his best work. The pit offense back on the field and ready to roll. 
They've had to punt the last couple of times they've had it, David, now trying to put something together. Well, Reese, you know how much I love punters and kickers. Like, you don't want to see them very often. Those are not guys that we want to see on the field. We want to do something else and be a little bit more productive offensively here. I think, David, on this drive, the quarterback's just got to settle down. But these last few drives, looks like he's seen ghosts. We've seen him force the football. He's missed a couple of throws. He needs to just take a deep breath and play within himself. Quick release by the QB. And the ball slipped out. Oh, the offense averts absolute disaster by falling on that fumble. So after reviewing the undisputable video evidence, the replay booth has decided to overturn the call. Wants to throw on third. Unloads to the wideout. Picked off. Just a small return, but a big play as they have it now at the 45. Timing has to be so good. When you're throwing into his own defense over the middle of the field, the ball's got to come out specifically on time because these windows close really quickly. Ball there thrown a little bit late, and as a result, it's an INT. BC has the ball back, hoping for a party in the mods. They'll have another opportunity to extend this lead after punting last time, David. And it's important to put that punt behind you. It's, it's over. Let it go. Get back to what you were doing that built this lead. Yeah, and defense, obviously, they won a few downs uh, that last drive. So we got to put them on their heels here. Maybe mix up a few personnel groupings and try to show them some pictures they haven't seen yet. Boston College wants to play fast. A little pre-snap eye candy for the defense. Grabbed behind the line, it's Morales. And good coverage by the defense, just a short game. And that's why QBs love their tight ends so much, right? Especially when they're athletic, because they make short throws turn into long games. Because of his ability after the catch, it's so unique and special. He is dominant in this offense. Boston College now operates from the red zone. Here's the handoff. Drives into the defense, and they get him down after a pickup of three to the 16. The run game just has not been working for this offense all game long. You saw it on that last play as well. Just not getting enough push up front on the offensive line. They haven't been physical enough. They started this drive with a big play, but now they need a conversion to keep it alive on third down. Looking to pass. It's Castellanos. And a missed opportunity on third down as the defense knocks it free and fourth down is coming up. Third and short in college football today. You see so much more pass than you used to. The offense stays aggressive. And I think they stay aggressive because they know they're in field goal range. They got that three in their back pocket. They're happy enough to try to take the points as the field goal unit heads out. Right down the boulevard, it's good. And now the lead is even bigger. So they were able to put up a three spot on that last drive, and now the kickoff team out there as they prepare to put boot to leather. Here he comes from inside his own five. Really disciplined job by the coverage unit to get down there and make the stop at the 19. The Pittsburgh offense is back on the field. They are trailing by 10 here, Jesse, but this is the type of team that seems comfortable in an offensive shootout. You got to hold serve at this point, right? You got to drive the field, put some more points up on the board. Yeah, they just scored. You can answer that now and keep this thing close. Though. And I think you're used to that as offense. Like, football is so fast-paced now, and you score so quickly. It's not that big of a deal to get down 10. You keep being you, keep being aggressive. They'll try the run. 
Finds his way ahead for five, and now they've got it at the 28. A lot of times it's hard to see those linebackers coming down late and blitzing through a gap. The offense did a really nice job getting a hat on a hat, blocking up front so the running back could get some positive yards. Here they come, trying to convert a third and short from the 28. He'll ride his man on the option. Now the toss. I'll tell you what, sometimes towards the end of that play where you see you're not getting anywhere, I'd like for you to just lower your shoulder and get a few yards. I just don't love it when they finish and run out of bounds. Uh, you know, though, we've both been around so long that we've seen a lot of guys try to make a play every single time, and it ends up making things worse. No, I get it. You can fight for extra yards. Sometimes you go backwards, or sometimes you lose the football. But, man, I want to put my offense in the best position. That means I need to go lower my shoulder, fall forward, get some extra yards. The coverage team was down there to corral him. They made the stop, and they'll mark it at the 39. Makes the quick grab. A seven-yard pickup. It'll be second and three. My old coach said, you'll never go broke taking a profit. Take what's there, take the positive yards, and never complain. Boston College right back to the line. Back to pass, it's Castellanos. He's got the back in the middle. And they knock him down, but he got past the line to gain. I just love quarterbacks that aren't greedy and that aren't always trying to throw the home run ball, right? Second down, you're in your own end of the field. The guy you want to throw to is not open. Just find the back. He'll go do something positive with it. This guy is a weapon, and you got to find him in the passing game. Wants to throw on first down. He's looking deep. And they dialed up a shot play, but they couldn't make the connection. You know the saying, no risk it, no biscuit. If you want big plays on offense, you've got to be able to take shots. They didn't hit that one, but moving ahead in the second half, expect this offense to keep dialing them up. Second and ten here. He's looking to throw. Using the back as a receiver on the screen. And it's pretty obvious there was a big hole in that screen, and the defense ran right through it. Well, the defense sniffed that screen out perfectly. All the D linemen, they were reading the body language of the offensive line. They knew something was up, and when the screen pass got thrown, they were right there to make the tackle. They'll try to move the chains on this third and long from the 50. They want to just keep throwing it. They're trying to get to it. And this sophomore able to wreak some havoc and get the sack. And you usually don't bring in dime packages for running teams. You bring in dime because you know they're going to throw the football. You got more speed on the back end to cover. And defensive linemen know they have their job to do. And their job is to go get that quarterback and get that sucker on the ground. Boston College lining up to punt this one away. He's getting a lot of work. Fourth time he's punted tonight. Not going to risk a return here. He'll make the fair catch. The pit offense back on the field and ready to roll. The last time we saw this offense, we had to look quick. It was a three and out, Jesse. He just had no rhythm in that last drive. So someone's going to have to step up and make a play, David. He's got it down the left side. And they are pushing the ball down the field. A big pickup on that one, and the tackle is finally made. I know it's early in the game, but defensively after that play, you know you have to tackle the catch. When this guy gets the ball in his hands, he is so dangerous after the fact. So it's okay for him to make catches. You just got to get him to the ground quickly. Gonna run it. It's Reed. Pull down after a pickup of five, but they knocked that defense back, and they've got it down to the 34. I like this guy as a running back because he can run between the tackles and he can also go outside. He can really do it all. Halfway there on first down, it's second and five. Not much room to run. Let's give him one to the 33. 
I like feeding my guy. I like getting my running back touches, feeding the ball so he can break some of those big runs. But I'm also okay with these little ones. Set the tone, stay balanced. They're looking at a third down and short from the 33. Dropping back, it's Holstein. Floats it out in space. They were banking on the yards after the catch, but that went into the negative column. And I'm banking on the ball coming out quick. When I'm a defense and understanding third and short, understand they're going to throw the ball really quickly, try to make a play. The defense knew it, broke on the football, made a nice tackle to force a fourth down. They'll play it safe and send out the field goal unit. And that is no good. The missed field goal still leaves us with a double-digit deficit. Still a 10-point game. BC has it back, and the Eagle offense returns to the field. They missed an opportunity to extend this lead the last time they had it, Jesse. Yeah, they got to be able to regain that momentum, right? Go back to what was working earlier on in this one. And, David, to me, that starts with being the more physical team. No, I definitely agree. Being the more physical team, but understanding the situation of the game. You're still winning. You got the football back. Now put a nice drive together and execute. Boston College wants to play fast. Leaves it with the back. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. We've reached the two-minute warning, and they will try to build on what has already been a dominant first-half performance. After losing a couple on that last play, here's second and 12. He's looking to throw. Quarterback doing what he does best. He can move. And he avoids the hit and slides after the short game. Welcome to the frustrating reality of college football. Like, the guy at the quarterback spot, he can just do that. Pull it down, get positive yards, makes the defense have to account for him every single play. Now facing a third and long. To the air, it's Castellanos. Throws to the wideout. It's complete! He will step out of bounds, but not before the big pickup and a first down for this offense. The magic bean is spinning out of control. Already over 200 yards in the first half. Yeah, they're being aggressive offensively, throwing the football, trying to take advantage of this defense on the back end. They've got their quarterback right now in a groove. He'll get rid of it. Little too much juice on that one from the junior. Sometimes a quarterback just needs to turn the ball loose. It was like he tried to guide that one in, and it disrupted the timing. Yeah, and, and just like in basketball, when, when you shoot a shot and you, you start trying to aim it, you really, really miss. You know, quarterbacks, they got to quickly be able to recognize, do I need to fire it? Do I, do I need to put a little air underneath it? And, and it's just a tough thing for a quarterback to be able to do. But over time, you see they have less and less mishaps like that. I love the anticipation on that throw by the QB on the out route. You gotta throw it before the receiver comes out of his break. Nice work. Third and short from the 28. Let's see if this is four down territory or if they just pick up the first here. Looking to throw for it. Throws toward the end zone. Touchdown, Eagles! And they'll put that scoreboard operator to work and put six on the board. He'll try to tack on one more. And with the extra point, they now have a three-possession lead at 17. They took it 64 yards right down the field. And the score comes on a touchdown pass covering 28 yards. 
Kickoff team is on the field. They'll try to drive this one deep. On the move from inside is five. Slips through the line. Just an outstanding return there and really sets up his offense nicely. First snap of this drive will come from the 46. Dropping back, it's Holstein. Got the quick pass. They make the stop after the catch and still some work to do to pick up that first down. A timeout is called as this offense tries to find a way to get more points on the board before the half. He's looking for an open man on second down. And the pass is incomplete, jarred loose by the hit. Ball's at the 47. They're looking at a third down and short. They'll try to get the first through the air. Pressure coming. And they got him for the sack. The defense going to stop the clock with a timeout. They want to make sure they have everybody on the same page. We haven't even gotten to halftime yet. This offense has their hands full trying to keep this quarterback standing up straight. They've already given up multiple sacks. That's the biggest reason why they're trailing by as much as they are. They better go in at halftime and make some big-time adjustments. First down here for the offense. He's going to pass. Throwing right. Got his man downfield. And he's brought down after a huge completion. Well, after that last play, you can see how electrifying this guy is and how special he is after he makes the catch. If I'm on offense, I'm trying to find a lot of ways to get him touches in this game. That big play is just what they needed. Now they have it first and 10 just outside the 40. Catch in the middle. It's Bond. They've got it inside the 30. They'll mark it at the 28. It's first down. Yeah, and he's been throwing it all over the yard, and he's now over 300 yards on the day. So been a successful day. Now, 300 yards, I don't know, Palmer, 300 nowadays, that's like what back in the day for you? <laughs> that would have been 500. I would have won the Heisman, maybe. It's a big <laughs> deal today in college football, no doubt. Now, listen, he's in a rhythm right now. He's in a groove. We've seen good decision-making. He's been playing on time, and he's been deadly accurate throwing it. And guess what? This game is far from over. And that's where quarterbacks, you know, they got to be very assertive. They got to believe what they see and really pull the trigger. But the longer they wait and they get off rhythm or off timing, a lot of times it ends up in incomplete passes. Looking to throw, it's Castellanos. This time he's got it. The clock will stop with this timeout from the offense. They'll get a chance to regroup on the sideline. How many first downs is that alone, you know, just on this drive? The defense, they keep this up. They're going to get worn out, continue to have to play more and more guys. they got to do something to change this. Hit hard just as he released it on first down and just couldn't get it to the receiver. Yeah, and this defense hadn't had a lot of success. This offense has been doing what it wants at will. Finally getting to the QB, finally getting some pressure, finally getting a big hit on him. That'll pay some dividends down the road. Time dwindling away as they try to put points on the board right before the half. Misfired on first down, back to the air on second. He's got him this time. He'll get it all the way down to the eight-yard line, and the defense is feeling the heat. They'll use a timeout right before halftime. Maybe time for one or two more plays. And the field goal unit is on the field. And he's already put one three spot on the board. He'll try another one from 25 yards out. It's good, and that was dead solid perfect. And that will extend their lead even further.
That late in the half field goal always gives you a little boost going to the locker room, and they'll need to finish off these final few seconds and not allow them to answer. He'll bring it out from inside his own 10. And the return man is stopped, and that'll leave it up to the offense on the next drive. We've played two quarters here. Time to go to Kevin Connors in our halftime update. Fellas, you've been taking in some scene there today in Chestnut Hill. And there is no better place to start this halftime than by reviewing how this wideout has been a one-man wrecking crew. The kid's been everywhere. And I love how he's willing to go across the middle, but that he also has the Jets to burn these DBs on the deep ball. If this defense wants to actually come back in this one, they better hide his cleats. And with that, let's send it back to the guys at Alumni Stadium. He'll bring it back from inside his five. He was looking for some running room, but not much to be found as he stopped at the 18. The Pittsburgh offense is back on the field. They start this third quarter in a big hole, and they have to start climbing out right now. And they're going to have to be really aggressive, Reese. Like this offense, when I'm playing from behind, every possession means so much more. And if you look the other side, the defense, they haven't given much resistance. Yeah, nothing has gone their way in the first half offensively. And you know now, based on how this defense is playing with their confidence, that you are going to be challenged on every single snap. So buckle up, get your mind right, and get ready to come back in this game. He lost one down the sideline. And it's incomplete, going for the massive explosive play. Instead, they're looking at a third down. Well, this defense has been lights out for the majority of this football game. They did give up a score to this guy, but they know who the big weapon is. They know where the quarterback is going to be looking. So here in the second half, they're going to have a plan for him, and they did on that last one. Back to pass. It's Holstein. Quickly complete. At the 35, he's open. And he was loose and in the open field and on his way. A tremendous pickup on that one. Well, look, that wasn't a touchdown, but that was a massive play for this offense. They needed some momentum. They needed to find a rhythm, and what better way than converting on third down. Awesome job by the quarterback getting through his progression. He'll pull it on the read. Able to scrounge three yards out of that one somehow. It's second and seven. Yeah, and it's a nice job by this defense. Understanding, listen, that QB is a threat. And they're going to run all kinds of options. And he's going to run the football. They were dialed in and got that sucker in the ground. Pitt pushing the pace. They'll give it to the back. And they try the middle of this stout defense, and they rise to the challenge. you got to have that defense you know you can go to in running situations. Your base defense where you say, okay, this is where I'm going to start, and I'm going to stop the run, stuff it up front. My guys play big up front. And then if I need to add some blitzes to it later on down the road, I can. But great job in the base defense making a play. On third down, he drops the throw. Fires one high and deep. And it slips through his fingers, incomplete. That would have been a huge gain if he could have held on. Well, after struggling so much in the first half, he thought they would have made some adjustments here at halftime to see if they can open up this passing game. But early on in the second half, they're just not really able to get that done. Incompletion on third down in your own end. You're expecting them to punt. Fourth down, and the punt team sends it the other way. No return coming. He'll call for the fair catch. Boston College sending the offense back onto the field. Always good to get points on a drive, David, but chip shot field goals can leave you a little empty. And I think it's great to get points, but the great teams get touchdowns in the red area. you got to get out there this time and execute a little better on this drive. You're absolutely right, David. Generally, the best red zone offenses are the ones that run the ball the best. So let's see if they can be a little bit more physical on this drive. Second down coming up. Now they'll run the draw into a mass of giant bodies. We'll call it a one-yard gain to the 24. And sticking to the run. I tell you what, a lot of teams that are really good are really stubborn, and they continue to run the football even with little success. So this offense is going to continue to focus on running the football. You can tell. Boy, could they use a conversion on third and short from their own 24. 
Dropping back, it's Castellanos. Safe completion on the screen. He steps out of bounds, but he's got enough for a first down. You know, as a receiver, it's so critical and important to know where the sticks are. He was able to modify his route so he knew as soon as he caught it, he was just going to have enough to keep this drive alive. And the Golden Eagles will snap it on first and ten. Use the play fake. Now to throw. That's reeled in. It's Bond. And defense got gassed, but they finally get him to the turf at the 47. Defense just can't cover this guy. We've seen it all game long, whether it's man coverage, zone coverage, double coverage. They cannot find an answer for him. He's already got over 150 yards. Boston College putting together a very efficient drive. The give to the back. We'll give him a couple on that with second and eight coming up. And the defense doing a great job committing to the run. When you commit to the run like this, obviously you can give up some plays in the passing game, but you got to stop the run first. After picking up a couple at second and eight, The give to the tailback. Able to pick his way forward for a decent game before the defense gets him down. Keep pounding away at this defense and make them play the run. If you can get this many a chunk, they're going to have to commit more guys to the box, more guys to the run. Then you open it up for the passing game. This feels like four down territory, third and short from the 40. Trying play action. Fires to the wide out. It's caught downfield. And chunk plays are the name of the game. And they get one here before the defense finally makes the stop. And they just want to give this guy a chance to make a play on third down. And more times than not, he is going to deliver. And he's so good, so efficient, such a good route runner, got the speed, got the complete game. So you definitely want to highlight him. And especially on those downs that matter the most. If something's not open quick underneath, find him. He'll make those contested catches. And a good, solid pick up there before the defense knocks him down. Listen, you, you got to be able to know what play to call and what hole to go through. Like, the line blocks for a certain hole. Good job getting through the hole, getting what was blocked, getting a nice positive gain, making your situation really good on the next down. Second down coming up on this red zone opportunity. Looking for a physical attack from the gun. He's got enough to give Boston College the first down. Well, I know this is an offensive line that has a ton of pride. They want to come out each and every game and really impose their will on the D-line. They got just enough push there on that run play to pick up the first. First and goal now. Let's see what Boston College calls. Looking downfield, it's Castellanos. He's got his man. Good throw and catch. Takes it down to the five as the offense tries to cash in. Again, this is a running back that can hurt you running it between the tackles, and he's dangerous out in space. They like to throw it to him out on the perimeter as he picks up a couple of yards there. Picked up some of what they needed on first down. Now it's second and goal from the five. The run up the middle, trying to power to the goal line. Touchdown, Boston College! And the beatdown has ensued. Precision blocking up front created the open lane, and the running back followed it beautifully. Yeah, um, it's pretty easy to follow an offensive line that makes those holes and just gives you a caravan all the way to the end zone. What an unbelievable job blocking up front. Lining up to add another. And the extra point will tack another one onto this lead. So a scoring drive there of 83 yards, and they punctuated it with a five-yard touchdown run. The kickoff team on the field as they'll send this one away. He'll start the return inside his five. Didn't find any crease in that kickoff coverage, and he'll be stopped at the 17. 
the pit offense back on the field and ready to roll. That last drive won't go on the highlight reel after ending in a punt. They'd like to be more productive this time, David. And I think this offense has to be a little bit more balanced. Find a little balance between the run, Jesse, and working in that pass. And I think, too, David, it's just going to take a spark. It just takes one play to get this thing picked up and going. Got six on first down. Now a lot of options on second and four. They'll leave it with him. Brought down to the ground, but he has enough for the first down. Well, the offense knew what they needed to get that first down, so they dial up the running play, and they get just enough to keep the drive alive. They'll start this one from the 29 on first down. Wide receiver coming across in motion. Touch pass on the jet sweep. He gets those chains moving, gets it out to the 42-yard line. I love that play call, and I love the timing of the pre-snap motion. Because the quarterback was able to get it to the receiver right behind the offensive line, because of the timing, he was able to outflank the defense. That puts him out in space where he's able to use his speed. Nice job with the pre-snap motion and timing. Off play action on first down. Now he's going to glide away from pressure. They'll wrap him up, and he didn't find the same kind of running room this time as he did on the previous play. It's just so nice to have a QB under center nowadays in football. You can trust these guys. You put so much on their plate, and you tell them, go get positive yards when it's there. And a lot of these guys are such great athletes, they do it with ease. Here comes the offense on second down. To the air. It's Holstein. Receiver looks it in. It's complete. He almost picked up the first down on that one, but he'll be just a little bit short. And that's a situation right there where the quarterback is just taking what the defense gives him. The defense has taken everything away down the field. Just take the easy throw underneath. Third and short from the 49 is this four-down territory. They'll try to pick up the first through the air. Grabbed in the middle. It's Mumpfield. Good job running that route to get past the sticks because he got nothing after the catch. He might have expected to see this DB up in his receiver's kitchen instead. Nice little zone, and they pick up the first. Man, offenses are getting so good, Reese, at seeing the holes in the zone, knowing you're in zone, knowing where to sit down, how to make it an easy pitch and catch for the quarterback, and that's what it was on third and short. After the pickup of nine, it's second and one. Coaches always harp about staying ahead of the chains, and when you can run with that type of efficiency on first down, man, you are doing just that. The big pickup on first down leaves them with second and one. He's looking to throw quickly to the tight end. And he's knocked down immediately, but not before he moves the chains. Love the way he didn't just run to a spot. He found the cushion in the zone and got himself open for the first down. Yeah, and you're taught to find that space. You know, don't run right into a zone defender who's sitting there looking at the quarterback and looking at you. So much creativity with routes now and of being able to just have subtle moves one way, come back the other way. Nice job by the tight end finding that hole in the zone. He'll take a shot. He snares it in the end zone. Touchdown, Pitt. Really nice job by the quarterback there of just letting the play develop. He had his eyes down in the middle of the field, and I think when he saw that deep middle area vacated, he said to himself, I've got a guy running right into that area. I'm throwing this thing on time, and this is going to be a touchdown. And that's exactly what happened. Now they'll line up for what they hope is automatic. Right down the boulevard. They put together an 81-yard drive, and the score comes on a touchdown pass covering 28 yards. They probably need one more score to feel like they're back in this game, down by 20 as they're set to kick it away. And he takes this from inside the five. He was hoping for something a little more dynamic, but they get him on the ground at the 20. BC has the ball back, hoping for a party in the mods. 
Man, what a drive last time for the touchdown. That passing attack was lethal, David. Yeah, and you know, you hear all these stupid commentators like me and Jesse talking about create balance, you know, run and pass. No, when you throw that good, spin the ball around. So the defense has to find a way to affect the quarterback on this drive because last drive, he had way too much time to throw. After the three-yard pickup, they come to the line second and seven. They go to the ground. Just enough there to get it to the 25, a pickup of two. They'll try to move the chains on third and short from the 25. Looking to throw, it's Castellanos. Caught. And they make the tackle, but he has plenty for the first down. They just keep throwing him the ball, this time on the slant. No doubt. And, and you've seen it with the slant. You've seen other routes. Every route he's running, he's good. He seems to be open. So I'm going to continue to pick at this matchup every chance I get. The Golden Eagles with the first and ten. He's looking to throw it. Caught near the sideline, it's Morales. And he goes out of bounds after a nice pickup on that one. Yeah, and tight ends aren't just line up and block guys anymore. These guys are athletes. You line them up all over the field. And nowadays, you even start to feature them more and more in the passing game. Got some of the work done on first. Now, let's see what they have on second down. The pull and throw off the RPO. They're able to get him stopped just shy of the first down marker. And the defense has their hands full trying to stop this guy in the slot. They're going to have to figure something out to bracket him, try and get two bodies around him, maybe get some safety help as well, because right now they do not have the answer for this guy. Come to the line at the 42, facing a third and short. Trying to pick it up on the ground. He puts him in business across the 50 into the 46-yard line. It'll be first down. This running back loves running into the teeth of the defense. In between the tackles, he keeps a low pad level, and he's got some speed. This Boston College offense has it working. It's reverse. That one did not go well. Tackled in the backfield for a loss of six. For an offense, to make the wide receiver reverse work, you've got to have a lot of guys doing a good sell job. Running backs have to behave as if they're actually going to keep the football, and everybody else on offense has to be yelling out, run, to try to make the defense over-pursue, but no Oscars being handed out on that. Out of the gun, the give to the back. Really nice stop there from this senior leader. This will be the eighth play of the drive, but a great opportunity for the defense to get off the field. On third and long, he'll need to push it downfield. Heaves it on the run. And it slips through his fingers incomplete. That would have been a huge gain if he could have squeezed it. That's why it's so important for this defense to win first and second down. You set up third and longs like that. You can show your exotic looks. You can get the pass rush going. Everybody in the back end expecting throw. And that's how you force incompletions and force fourth downs. A fairly short distance here toward the sidelines. Not his best work. The Pittsburgh offense is back on the field. The last time they had it, they took it down the field for a touchdown. They can build some confidence that they could go back-to-back -back scoring drives here. Yeah, and remember, it's not uncommon for offenses to find themselves as the game goes on. They had some things not go their way early, but they found something last drive, David. Let's see if they can build on it. Yeah, you, you, you just pick and pick and pick until you find that place where you're like, okay, this is an advantage I have. They clearly found that dude. They score here. We're in for a ball game. Halfway there on first down, it's second and five. Looking downfield, it's Holstein. Quarterback moving out of the pocket. They get him down after the scramble, but he's able to pick up a few and turn it into a positive play. Well, you're making a positive out of a negative, and that time, quarterback, nice job, buying time. He's trying to throw the football downfield, nothing there, so instead of throwing it away and getting the incomplete, just get what you can get and make this next down more manageable. 
He'll throw on third down. Caught near the sticks. It's Johnson. Oh, it's loose. And just like they drew it up, right? Put it on the ground, get it, get the first down. And you know the standard is indisputable video evidence, and the officials will change the call. He's dropped behind the line of scrimmage. That'll be a loss of three. So he gets stuffed on first down, and now you have the offensive coordinator thinking a little bit. Yeah, we're probably going to have to throw it now on this second play. But what are we going to see defensively? Now that they know we're throwing, might they blitz us? Do I have to leave more guys in the block? There's a real cat and mouse game going on right now between these two coaching staffs. And talk about spreading the ball around. Everyone getting a chance to show off the hands based on the number of targets we've seen. As we start the fourth quarter, it'll take a pretty sizable comeback to win this one. Let's see what they've got on second down. He's looking to throw. He's going to fire deep. And it's knocked away downfield. The DB getting a hand in there. The offense came into this game knowing that for them to win, they were going to have to make some big plays throwing the football. That just has not been the case. Here in the fourth quarter, they've been held to less than 200 passing yards, and that's really the story of the game, guys. Let's see what call they have on third and long from the 28. And that's incomplete. A defender all over him knocked the ball to the ground. Fourth down coming up. It's a nice adjustment by the defense here. With a big lead in the game, you're putting extra DBs on the field, knowing the offense has to throw to get back in this one in the fourth quarter. So your best cover guys on the field, and they force an incompletion on the last one. They're throwing for it on fourth down. He hurls one deep down the left side. And is going to be batted down. They'll turn it over on downs. The offense set for a first down play. The give on the inside. Hard running there. They'll pull him down after a pickup of five down to the 23. This offense is in no hurry, right? Control the clock is priority number one. I'm going to run the football. I got the lead. I already got great field position, but I'm not interested in scoring right away. I got to make sure I watch that play clock tick down, maximize those seconds, and keep being physical with the run game. Pulls it and fires to the left. And they reacted well to the completion, but it was too late to keep them from getting the first down. On first and 10, trying to strike from the 15. Looking for a man, it's Castellanos. And it's incomplete. If you're gonna take a hit like that, you might as well hang on to the ball. I'm a little bit surprised they're still throwing the football here this late in the game with this kind of lead. They're on first down, taking a shot, falls incomplete, but obviously they're still seeing matchups that they want to take advantage of in the back end of this defense, so they're letting it fly. And the incompletion brings up a second down for this offense. Quarterback on the keeper. Headed to the end zone. Touchdown, Boston College! And the route is on. And these design QB runs, man, they really test the physicality of this defense. Knowing this quarterback's going to tote the rod, they know that there's now an extra blocker, so somebody on defense is going to have to make a superhuman effort, get off the block and make a play. They could not get that done. Anymore. Lining up to tack one more onto that lead. And with the extra point, they push the lead out a little further. Quick work on that scoring drive, just four plays. And they finished it with a beautiful 15-yard run for the score. About to kick it off after punching it in for the touchdown. On the run from inside his own five. He was hoping for something a little more dynamic, but they get him on the ground at the 20. The pit offense back on the field and ready to roll. Looking to go up top on first down. Got his man to the left. And they'll finally bring him down after he rips off a huge play. 
You know, the defense doesn't have an answer for this slot guy right now. They may want to think about bracketing him, having a defender play to the outside and to the inside, probably some sort of zone coverage where you're trying to get two bodies, forcing the quarterback to have to go somewhere else with the ball. After the big play to start, now they are on the move at their own 45. Oh, he's going to try to get it all here. Makes the catch down the right side. And you can see the offense just feeling itself. They've got it down to the 21. Well, I'll give this offense some credit because they've got a lot of fight. There is no quit in them, and they're obviously trailing by a big amount in this game. They haven't had a lot of success, but they're still taking shots, and their players are still out there competing. That last play has this defense on its heels. Now it's first and 10 from the 21. Makes the grab on the left. That completion will take them inside the 10 to the 9-yard line. Just like that, a hat trick of completions, and they're on the doorstep. Three plays, three beautifully executed plays. This offense is in a really good rhythm. This defense better change something quickly because this has been way too easy. They'll use the running game on first and goal. Snowed under after a pickup of two. They'll mark it at the eighth. Defense rolls up deep in its own end on that last play. Now a second and long coming. Back to throw. It's Holstein. He's got it. Crisp execution in the passing game, and they've got it down to the three. It's so nice as a quarterback when you've got a guy like that working for you in the slot. He has such a good feel to find the open spaces in the defense. Just makes life so much easier for his quarterback. They've relentlessly moved forward. Now it's getting down to Cases. Third and goal. The back goes in motion. Quarterback flips it ahead quickly to the receiver. Touchdown, Panthers! And they add six more to the board with that trip to the house. Yeah, nice pitch, nice catch. And listen, maybe this helps next game, right? Like, we're trying to find a rhythm, find something that works, find somebody to go to. And this offense is struggling. You're down by 1,000. But I like that they continue to fight. Ready to try the point after. And it's up and good. So that scoring drive took only six plays. And they finish it up with a three-yard scoring toss. Lining up to cover the kick after that touchdown drive. And he'll bring it back. He was hoping for something a little more dynamic that they get him on the ground at the 20. BC has it back, and the Eagle offense returns to the field. Leaves it with the running back. Stopped at the 25 after a five-yard gain. It's a point in the game, I think, as a coaching staff, where you really challenge your offensive line to go win the football game, right? We've got to lead late. We're going to run the football. And the defense and everybody in the stadium knows that's what's going to happen. Can we run the ball down their throats and impose our will? That's what this offense right now is trying to do. And he's brought to the ground, but not before he gets enough for the first down. And I don't care if I get it by 2, by 20, by 30, by 40. I just, I just want to get the first down, understanding the situation, understanding where the sticks are. Doesn't have to be sexy, but I got to make sure I get to that stick, get to the first down mark. And they'll line up from the 31 on first down. Looking for a gap. It's Grobacho. Finds enough room to get three out to the 34. You know, every running back thinks about the 100-yard barrier every time they take the field. And this guy, I know he's got it in his mind. He might be the only one in the stadium right now that knows. He's got 97 yards rushing here in the fourth quarter. You know he is begging his coach just for one more carry to get that mark. They'll try it on the ground, running the counter. Good job running tough and behind his pads as he gets up to the 38-yard line. 
I think they called that knowing they weren't going to hit a home run. So why would you call it that? Well, you call it so third down becomes an easier down. It's not third and long where I have to pass the football. Now all options on the table. Offense breaks the huddle on third down. They'll try to pick it up on the ground. They'll get him on the ground at the 46, and it'll be a first down. I think you have to like what you see if you're the coaching staff here. Your offense is on the field, and it looks like you got a pretty good drive going, and you're just going to try and keep this thing marching, keep the clock ticking. You've got a really nice lead here late. Just want to find ways to keep the chains moving. They're doing that. The give to the single back. Just a solid stop by this sophomore. It's just so nice to know you can start off on first down with positive plays. Positive yards, hand the football off, set up a good second down. Got three on first down at second and seven. To the ground with the back. And he has a solid gain before the defense bottles him up. I think you run that play on second down knowing it's going to make third down easier. You're not trying to hit a home run. You don't need the big play right now. Now you know third down, everything's on the table, everything's available, high success rate. How aggressive might this play call be on third and short from the 46? They'll try to get it through the air. Caught over the middle. It's Bond. There to make the tackle, but the big throw is good enough to give them a first down. Well, this guy's been a go-to guy for this offense all game long. We've seen that. And here on a critical third down late in the game with the lead, guess who shows up with another big one? That guy. Boston College coming to the line after moving the chains. Power football with the run. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. It's going to be tough sledding for the offense here. They're trying to ice this game by running the football and bleeding the clock. They've got a pretty good lead here late in the game, but the defense knows the run's coming, right? So they're going to be loading the line of scrimmage, getting stops like what they just did. Be interesting to see what the offense does on this next one. Running back searching for a hole. And he's able to find a little bit of running room before they get him down. And a nice job by the running back finding space, getting downhill, making the good run. Great job finishing with his pads. They'll snap it from the 28 in field goal range, but it's third and short. To the air, it's Castellanos. Working that left side now. The stop is made, but this offense is threatening. First and goal from the nine. Well, I tell you, man, this guy's been putting on a show all game long. We've seen his decision-making. We've seen his athleticism. Because of him, they've got this huge lead in the fourth quarter. So why stop throwing it? Just keep it going when the going's good. After another clutch third down conversion, it's first and goal. They'll try to get it in with the run. He works his way all the way down to the three, and the defense is reeling. You got to give the coaching staff credit because they really do focus all season long on situational football with the lead late in the game. If we're on offense, we're trying to stay in bounds. We're trying to bleed the clock. And after ripping off a really nice run, that guy knew, I've got to get down. I cannot get pushed out of bounds, cannot get tackled out of bounds. Really, really nice job. And he got a hand on it to knock it down in the end zone. Sometimes as a quarterback, when you're feeling a rhythm and you're feeling yourself, you just want to keep taking shots, right? This guy's already thrown three touchdown passes. He saw a look he liked, decided to let her fly. Haven't seen a lot of balls fall incomplete, especially deep down in the field. That one did, but I'd expect this guy to keep letting it go. Third and goal, and they'll try to pass it in. Tight end finds a soft spot. And that is good versatility there and a big hit from the backer in pass coverage. And if you're the offense here, after not getting in that last play, do you feel like you've got something in your back pocket where you can throw it in the end zone and guarantee a score? You would hate to waste this opportunity and come away with no points, but the defense right now, they are playing stiff with their backs up against the wall. It's good. Easy call for the ref. And they'll push that lead out a little further. 
Well, you're always going to wonder what would have, could have, should have happened on fourth and inches had they gone for it. But with this kicker, I like taking three points and putting it on the board. They're really starting to extend that lead as they get ready to kick it away again. Here he comes from inside his own five. Really disciplined job by the coverage unit to get down there and make the stop at the 19. The Pittsburgh offense is back on the field. Back to throw, it's Holstein. Makes the grab on the right. Hit the afterburners, kid. The 10. And he just kept running, and he ran away from the crowd, and he'll take it in. Touchdown, Pittsburgh! And how about that? His second receiving touchdown of the ball game. Find ways to get your athletes the ball. They'll do the rest. That's number two. They better start playing some better defense, and number three is coming soon. Let's see if they can roll snake eyes in a good way and get the deuce. He wants to throw it. And he had it for a second, but it just dribbled out of his hands. The deficit is huge. This one is all but over, but they'll keep trying and line up for the onside kick. He's able to grab the football, and the hands team gets the job done. Boston College sending the offense back onto the field. That last drive was a long one, Jesse. They'd like this time to pay it off with a touchdown instead of a field goal. No doubt, Reese. They had a lot of good stuff going that last drive. Need to get a tutty up on the board here to extend that lead, Dave. And I think you definitely want a touchdown, but if you put another long drive together, get points, multiple possessions in a row, start to let those body blows add up and wear this defense out. And the Golden Eagles racing to the line in the hurry up. Wants to throw on second down. They've got the screen set up. And he's a real nowhere man tackled in this no-gain land. I know a lot of people are going to look at that play and say, man, that was a bad play. Didn't gain any yards. But that could be the offense maybe setting something up. The play caller is going to remember that last play. He's going to remember how the defense reacted to it, made a quick tackle. They might pump that throw and then hit another player vertically down the field for an explosive play down the line. Just keep that in mind. On third and long, he has to throw for it. Fires the pass. Intercepted. The return never really got started, but boy, he has set his team up at the 28. Well, the defense isn't quitting. They're obviously down big here in the fourth quarter with just a little bit of time left. Obviously, it'll take a Herculean effort to come back, but could that interception be the spark that ignites this team? The Pitt offense back on the field and ready to roll. They torched this defense with an explosive passing play for a score last time out. Let's see if they go. He'll off one deep down the left side. And the DB making a huge play, knocking it away downfield. This defense has just been all over this guy all game long, under pressure. They're finding a way to get to him and affect his rhythm. Of course, they have an interception in this game. That's why they've got a big lead here in the fourth quarter. This guy has never gotten into a rhythm. Couldn't make the connection on first down. Now here on second. Fires to the tight end. And the defense settled in to stop that one for a short game. And defensively, this is exactly what you want, right? You got the big lead, so you can play big zone coverages. Just keep the ball in front of you. Keep your eye on the quarterback. Rally to the football. Gang tackle. And you're going to win this game. A third and long coming up here. Looking to throw at Tolstein. He makes the connection, and they'll get it to the 39-yard line, and they'll move the chains. There's a reason third down is called the money down. What a great find by the quarterback. Great job finding his receiver. 
Uh, at the end of the game, you look at third down percentages, it tells a huge story, and it goes a long way in deciding who wins a football game. Pitt coming to the line after getting another first down. He wants to throw it again. Fires to the middle. Pulls it in. And they pick up a better than 30 yards on that completion before the defense brings him down. Pittsburgh has a really nice drive going. To the air on first down. Got it in the middle, it's Williams. And he was just a couple of steps away from taking that one even further after the catch. You know, you're seeing in college football now a spread offense and tempo and air raid. We're seeing more and more 400-yard days, but I can't remember the last time I've seen one look as impressive as this guy has played today, David. He has been on fire. And it's so annoying now because all the quick quick game is so good. And then you take shots when you get matchups. And you see tight ends now that, that move like wide receivers and running backs that move like receivers. There's so many ways that quarterbacks can hurt you now. And he showed all of it today. The offense will have to use its first time out of the half. The snap sets up the throw. To grab in the end zone. Touchdown, Panthers. Nice job by the offense going down the field, putting points on the board, but you're still down a couple possessions. Still need some good things to happen. You need your kicker to go over there and get warmed up. We need an onside. We need to score some points. We need a lot of things to go right to win this football game. PAT unit on the field. And it's up and good as they draw just a touch closer. So the decision has been made and the coach will take the penalty. They are running out of time here. They need to get the ball back. They'll line up for the onside kick. That's why they call them the hands team. They're able to secure the onside kick. He's dropped behind the line of scrimmage. That'll be a loss of three. Smart move to keep it on the ground. That's what you expect from a senior. Don't give them any extra yards. Great tackle there. Quick timeout call by the defense, stopping the clock to save as much time as possible for their offense. Didn't get much on first down. It's second and nine. On the ground, it's Grobachev. And he's able to shed one tackle, but still, just a very short game. Timeout called there by the defense, desperate to get the ball back and save as much time as possible. They'll snap it from the 48 on third and short. Wants to throw, it's Castellanos. Immediately fires to the middle. Ripping through the defense and getting it all the way down to the 24-yard line. He has been the go-to guy on offense all game long. Another critical third down here in the fourth quarter. Surprise, surprise. Guess who they go to that guy? The offense lining up for a first down play. And with the game all but decided, this quarterback will take a knee. 